Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you guys about some more ways that we can use if statements in JavaScript. So in the last tutorial, I showed you guys how you can use Boolean variables in order to check for conditions. So we checked to see if someone was male or if they were tall, and we wrote out this entire if statement block in order to check that. In this tutorial, I want to show you guys how we can use something else to use if statements. So we can actually compare different values inside of our if statements and depending on how those values relate to each other we'll do different things and one of the best ways for me to demonstrate this is to actually create something called a max function so i want to write a function inside of our javascript program where you can pass the function three different numbers and then it'll spit out whichever number is the highest so let's go and do that we're going to create a function so I'm just going to say function and we'll set it equal to max. And inside of this function, I want to pass three parameters. So up here in these parentheses, I'm going to pass three values in here. I'm going to say num1, num2, and num3. So this max function is going to take three parameters. And basically what we want to do in here is we want to figure out which number is the biggest, right? And we can actually use if statements to check to see which one is the biggest. So I'm gonna say if, and I'm gonna make an open and close parentheses and an open and close curly bracket. And now inside of this if statement, inside of these parentheses, we can write a condition. So the first thing that I wanna do is check to see if this first number right here is bigger than the other two, right? In other words, if num1, actually if num1 is greater than or equal to both num2 and num3, then we know num1 is the biggest. So I can say if num1 is greater than or equal to num2 and num1 is greater than or equal to num3, then I can just return num1 because we know now for a fact that num1 is the biggest, right? In other words, if number one is greater than or equal to number two, and it's greater than or equal to number three, then we know that's the highest value that we have, so we can just return it. And over here, we're using these, uh, what are called comparison operators. So in our case, we're using a greater than or equal to comparison operator to compare both of these values. Now, in the last tutorial, if you watched the last tutorial, we used Boolean values in order to represent these conditions. So a Boolean value is either true or false. And so when you put it into an if statement, it just makes sense. In our case though, this comparison is actually gonna represent a true or a false value, right? This comparison is either true or it's false. Num1 is either greater than or equal to num2 or it's not, right? So the computer will be able to look at this condition and evaluate it into a true or a false value. And same goes for over here. So if this condition ends up being true and this condition ends up being true, then we'll return num1. Otherwise, if that's not true, we can say else if, and we wanna check something else. So here we'll check to see if number two is greater than all the other ones. So I can say else if, num2 is greater than or equal to num1 and num2 is greater than or equal to num3. So again, we're comparing num2 and num1 and we're comparing num2 and num3. And if num2 is the biggest, then we'll just return it. So we can say num2. Now, otherwise, we're gonna use this else keyword Otherwise, if num1 isn't the biggest and num2 isn't the biggest, then we can pretty much assume that num3 is the greatest. So we can say return num3. So effectively what this will do is it'll take three numbers as input and it'll spit out the biggest one, right? Easy enough. So let's go ahead and call this function. So I'm gonna come down here and we'll just say max and I'm gonna pass this some values. So we can say like three, four, five, and this should go ahead and spit out a five. Or actually, I need to write this to the screen. So you'll see that it's spitting out a five. So I can make, you know, whichever one of these the biggest, we can put a 10 in there, or we can put a 30 in here. And no matter what, it's always gonna spit out whichever the biggest number is. 
So I wanna point out the way that we did this was using these comparison operators. And this one is greater than or equal to, but there's also a bunch of other comparison operators that we can use. So we could use double equal sign and the double equal sign is basically checking to see if these have the same value. So this is saying if num1 has the same value as num2, in other words, if they're equal. And in addition to equals equals, we can use greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, and we can also use not equal to. So this exclamation point is a special character called the not operator, and basically what it does is it'll negate anything. So we can say num1 is not equal to num2, and that's what that'll check. So those are all the different operators that you can use. And obviously over here, we're comparing different numbers, right? So I'm comparing you know, one number with another number, but you could also compare uh, different string values as well. So if I wanted, I could put strings inside of there. So let me demonstrate that really quick. I'm just gonna get rid of this. And why don't we create an if statement down here? And I'm just gonna make a basic if statement just so you guys can see how this works. I'll say if phrase, so that's just a string, is equal to phrase, then we can print out true. And you'll see over here that we get true. So you can check to see if different strings are equal to each other. Basically, if they have the same characters. So that's the basics of building a max function and using comparisons in order to get Boolean values inside of our if statement conditions. And a lot of times you're gonna wanna use these different comparisons inside of your if statements so you can you know, basically check different values and depending on whether or not those values are the same or one's bigger or smaller than the other one, you can do different things. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you wanna help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.